snowfall. Maybe when I get to a red light. We're about to hit a red light. It is snowing. Not much, but it's snowing. Oh my goodness gracious. You see the snow falling? Can you see it? Oh my goodness. Now it's coming down harder. Did y'all see all that snow? My goodness. And not only that, there was a state trooper behind me for miles. So I'm trying to, you know, keep an eye on the trooper, not slide in the snow, not, you know, and I said I was not gonna go too fast because um, if that trooper got up to ride my tail or anything, I was going to pull over and let him go because you're not going to intimidate me in the snow. Um, I'm quick to pull over and let someone go ahead of me quickly. Anyhow, made it through the snow. I am, as you can tell, in New Mexico now and I'm tired. I drove about six hours today <laughs> and um, I am... Um, I'm probably like 40, about 40 miles into New Mexico. I found a rest area that allows overnight camping or overnight stealthing or overnight rest, whatever. Um, just for 24 hours, you can be here. And so I'm going to call it a day. And um, I haven't eaten all day, so I'm definitely hungry. And... Um, from my last video, video, I promised you guys that I was gonna cook um, a meal. So I think I have mainly everything ready. Um, I went and got some Uncle Ben's red beans and rice. Yay, this is the soft rice, so it's really already cooked. Should be a quick, easy meal. And here I got my turkey sausage that I'm going to chop up put that in there mix it up and that's gonna be my meal for this evening uh yeah so this rest stop looks all right i haven't checked out the bathroom yet but after i eat i will go check that out but until then let's get the cooking because your girl is hungry <laughs> okay y'all y'all gotta excuse my mess back there okay <laughs> I live in a minivan and um, I don't got a lot of space to work with. So, yeah, I don't. So, I'm just going to chop up my sausage. Open, easy, open. If it's so easy, why can't I figure it out? Oh, there it goes. So how are you guys doing today? That was some crazy snow, I tell you that. So I just hope you guys are doing well. Yeah, chop it up like that. Cut 
these in half. Man, it's been one heck of a drive today. <laughs> really, that snow really, it was really unexpected. I know they said that it was supposed to rain, so I was only expecting rain, not snow, and it definitely not that much snow. Okay. Sausage is chopped. I'm just going to put this in a Ziploc bag. And I'm going to cut this in half to save some space. I'm not going to do too much for this meal because I don't really feel like doing much. And this seems like a tasteful, easy, van life friendly, in your minivan type meal. Okay? So let's get over to. Let me put this here. You know, once I get to some BLM land, I can do most of all this outside versus inside my van. But until then, you got to make do, okay? It's better than spending money. Um, it is, let me pull you up a little bit. It is pretty cold <laughs> out here. Um, it's probably in the upper 40s out here. And temperature tonight, maybe, yeah, upper 40s or something like that. Um, so it is gonna be a little cold tonight. Um, but I don't, I think I'll be all right. Well, I know I'll be all right, but I always say that. I do have ways to keep myself warm in the van. Um, but so far, the, the sheets and the wool and the blankets um, have done me very well. Um, I've even been able to like sleep in the t-shirt and, and shorts and no socks on my feet and be all right as long as I'm under the covers. And one tip that I have been doing, guys, when it's cold like that, um, for the clothes that you're gonna wear the next day, um, put them in the blankets with you. <laughs> put them under the sheets with you so that when you get up in the morning and you get dressed, your clothes are not ice cold. So that's just a tip. That's what I had to learn and that's what I've been doing and it's been working well. So let's get this, sto this, this stove on and let's get to cooking. Okay, let's turn it on. And I'm just gonna put some olive oil in there to help cook the meat. And yes, my window is vented. Just so you, in case y'all wanna ask, it is vented. So we're gonna let this heat up and then we're gonna put the meat in. And I know I said that I wasn't gonna do like more than like <laughs> uh, four to five hour drives. Uh, I really wanted to get out of Texas, I really did. Um, and I really wanted, I'm really trying to get to Arizona, simple, okay? Get Or get to some BLM land or something like that to where it's free. That's my main objective. Um, as you know, guys, when I travel, I try to travel on a budget. I don't like to spend much money when I'm out here. I like to do things. If I can do it for free, why not? So I think my grease is heating up. So let's put this in there. Oh, 
Oh, let me get my shield. All right, there we go. I like my sausage <laughs> to be obviously cooked, okay? I like some brown stuff on there and maybe a little black. So we're gonna give this a few minutes. Okay. And these packages were like only $2.35, I believe. So inexpensive. Okay. It's probably been not even two whole minutes. So let's look at it. Just how I like it. So we're gonna add our rice. Add the whole thing. Bachelor is flimsy. <laughs> there we go. Sorry. <laughs> break up, break up, break up. much cooked it's just a matter of like Anthony said every the rice getting hot getting up to you know eating temperature okay let that simmer for a minute and then we're gonna plate alrighty here is dinner I was thinking I might add some hot sauce. I like spicy stuff if you can't tell. Mm. Pretty good. That took the cooking time, maybe five, six minutes. Simple. All right, guys, I'm gonna end this video now. <laughs> Finish eating my dinner. And then after dinner, I got some organization to do and cleanup to do to organize my van. And then um, I need to map out like, it's a truck. I need to map out my next destination and what am I gonna do? I know from where I am at, it's about 10 hours to where I wanna go in Arizona. So, and I'm not going to do that at one lump sum. I just, I'm going to break that up in two days. Um, so, I'm going to find out, excuse me, my next destination and my next plan. Because uh, I will be leaving here bright and early in the morning. Mm. Excuse me. So, I'm going to end this video right now. 
And guys, thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I appreciate it. And if you're new here and haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and join the community. Um, until then, you know what I always say, live your joy, travel safely, and I'll see you on the next video. Shalom.